Thank you, Nomzamo. Hello and good evening, global citizens. Look at all of us here, 60,000 strong, together in New York City! Are we prepared to do what's necessary to end this? Are we prepared to do what's necessary to end this pandemic? Hi, everybody. <laughs> it is so good to be back here with all of you. Look, we know, <laughs> we know that it feels like this pandemic has been going on forever. We get it, it is a lot. And some people are just over it. But if everyone's over it, it's never going to be over. There is so much that we can do today, now, that can get us closer to ending this pandemic. And that's why we're all here. We're able to be here tonight because the most brilliant scientists, researchers, frontline workers, and selfless public health leaders have risked their lives to protect our global community. They are our humanitarian heroes. Since this pandemic began, we've been talking to the experts about how we can do our part. This week, we sat with independent growth health leaders to further understand how we get closer to vaccine equity and ending this health crisis. But we're battling more than the virus alone. This is a battle of misinformation, bureaucracy, lack of transparency, and lack of access. And above all, this is a human rights crisis. Every single person on this planet has a fundamental right to get this vaccine. That's the point, but that's not happening. And while in this country and many others, you can go almost anywhere and get vaccinated, billions of people around the world cannot. This year, the world's expected to produce enough doses to meet the target of vaccinating 70% of people in every single country. But it is wrong that so much of the vaccine supply has only gone to just 10 wealthy nations so far and not everyone else. It's just not okay. Guys, we have what we need to vaccinate. And finally, in our conversations, these experts shared that how the vaccine is distributed and who it's distributed to should be left to independent international organizations who know exactly where the doses are most needed. Just think about the millions of vaccines that have been discarded this year. That's like throwing away life vests when those around you are drowning. So where does that leave us? My wife and I believe... <laughs> My wife and I believe that where you're born should not dictate your ability to survive. Especially when the treatments exist to keep you safe. So, global citizens, we ask you tonight, do you think we should start treating the access, access to the vaccine as basic human right? Yeah. I don't think they heard you. Yeah. Thank you. Please welcome back Global Citizen Ambassador Rachel Brosnahan. And welcome to the stage, the Chairman and Chief Executive Officer of Verizon, Hans Vesberg. Uh, that is um, not a trio we were prepared to follow. 